One of the challenging things about playing Mahjong competition rules is trying to find the eight point minimum. When you play, you have to have eight points. There are 81 scoring elements. So I do random pulls to train myself to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. If you haven't already done so, look for a link below the video for this player reference. It's got all the scoring elements in it. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. I'm going to use these dice to randomize which seat we're in, just to keep the variables fresh. For the first random pull, we're going to be in South Seat. If 8 is North, 9, 10, that would be South. So we're going to be Player 2. Non-dealer will get 13 tiles. So for these tiles, we have mostly dots, four bams, two cracks. Whenever I have a mixed suit start like this, I look for patterns, repeating patterns. So we have five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, oop, out of order. Okay. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, three, four, five, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. What about pure or mixed shifted chows? Let's look at mixed shifted chows. We have a lot of four through eight, four through eight, mixed shifted chows. Number 51. Six fawn, three chows in one suit, each shifted one from the last. So we would need three, four, two, three, four, four, five, six, five, six, seven, two, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, four, five, six, Six, seven, eight. Mix shifted chows. We need more score. I think what I would do is play all simples. Discard the nine and these because we could do all simples. All simples are two through eight. Number 68, four pungs or chows in a pair, two through eight. No terminals or honors. Terminals are ones and nines and honors are wins and dragons. That would be two fawn. So if we did mixed shifted chows and all simples, that would be eight fawn. I think that's what I would try to do here. So keep all tiles two through eight See about mixed shifted chows. Discard the nines and the white. That's how I would play this one. If you would do something differently here, let me know. If we get a four, five, six, so two, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. If we got a six, seven, eight, an eight dot, we would also have a short straight, two sequential chows. Four, five, six, six, seven, eight. So that would be four through eight. Wait, let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what that would be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no, I take it back. Oh. I could have messed that one up. All simples, mixed shifted chows. That's what I would do here.
This is why you got to practice so you don't make a mistake when you play the game. We're going to do south round. This time, let's say we're in seat four. That would be north. North. Non-dealer will get 13 random tiles. Okay, for these tiles, I think what I would try is outside hand. Outside hand, number 55, that is four fawn. So we're gonna have to find score in several places. So here we could do seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, pung of nines. Outside hand is where you have a one or a nine or an honor in each block. So we could use all but this tile right here. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, pung of nines, one, two, three, four, four blocks and a pair, maybe. Maybe we could use that as our pair. One way we can get more score is to do mixed double chow, number 70. Two chows of the same sequence in two suits, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if we did outside hand, which is four, Mixed double chow, which is five. Pung of terminals, that would be number 73. That's another one. So four, five, six. We would need two more fawn. Let's see, what could we do? We need two more fawn. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, pung of terminals. That's not enough. We have to do something else. I think what I would do is discard this first. And then we could maybe do pure double chow if we could get a one and a two dot. Pure double chow is number 69. That's another fawn. Two chows in the same, se same sequence, same suit. Hmm. This could be interesting and challenging because outside hand, you know what we could do actually? Discard the term, the honor. Discard this because no honors would be no, another fawn, 76. So outside hand would be four. Mixed double chow would be five. Terminal pung would be six. No honors would be seven. We need to have one more fawn somewhere. One more fawn. Try to get one, two, three for pure double chow. One, two, three, four, and then we need a pair. This will be a challenge. I think what I would do is discard the four crack, then the eight crack. Hold the three dot to try to get one, two, three. We're gonna need a, a pair of terminals in here eventually. I think we might even be able to void a suit because 
we need to have a pair in here. A terminal pung will help us get a fawn. So I think we need more ones and nines. Discard the dragon for no honors. I think that's what I would do here. Outside hand, mixed double chow, terminal pung, hopefully pure double chow. That would be one, two, three, four. We All we would need is a pair of terminals to do outside hand, and that would be eight fawn. That is a, a real challenge here. Because we couldn't do seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, pung, because that would be outside hand, but that's only four fawn. Four fawn, five for mixed double chow, six for pung of terminals. That, that's too short. We're short. We need two more fawn in here somewhere. So that's why I'm thinking these have to go. Void a suit, draw in more terminals, dots and bams, or try to get pure double chow. I think that's what I would try to do here. If you would do something differently, let me know. We do have three pair here. One, two, three. We could maybe do all pung. All pung is six fawn. We still need two fawn somewhere. If we pair up the dragon, that would be two fawn. Pair up and pung, but it's a single. I think we're better off to go with outside hand Mix double chow, maybe pure double chow and terminal pung. I think that's what I would do here. Discard these. Oh, that's kind of painful, actually. That was a real challenge. We are now going on to West Round. This time, let's say we're in seat two. South, non-dealer, we'll get 13 tiles. Okay, for this one, I think two, three, eight, nine, two, eight, nine, single honors, eight, four, five. I think I would do outside hand again. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, mixed double chow again. We are in west seat or west round, south seat. We could get score for that and that if we could pair up and pung. So we would have two discards to get to outside hand. That's four, five for the mixed double chow, potentially six, seven. We would need another scoring element in here. One more fawn somewhere. Eight, nine. Eight, nine, eight, nine. This would be the same challenge. Outside hand is a challenge. I think for outside hand, a value pung with the honors is what's going to take that to the, to the minimum, or terminal pungs maybe, or the patterns, repeating patterns. So hold 
as many seven, eight, nine as possible. There is a scoring element called upper four, six, six, seven, eight, nine, but we're way far from that. And it's only six through nine. We'd have to throw all these away. So I don't think I would do upper four. I think I would try for outside hand, try to pair up the valued honors right here, pair up and pung, discard five, six for outside hand as the primary scoring element for four fawn, mixed double chow, six, seat, wind, pung, dragon, pung, seven, eight. Now that, that's going to take some good drawing to draw into pairs there. But in the meantime, I would try to hold seven, eight, nine. Maybe if we get seven, eight, nine cracks, we could do mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is number 41. That's eight fawn. But we have a big gap there right now. All right, let's go to the next one. You know what? Let me see here. What were those? I was thinking maybe we could do lesser honors and knitted tiles, but I already dumped the tiles. We'll go to north round. Okay, this time I rolled an 11. 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. Non-dealer. West. Okay, for this one, two, six, seven, eight, one, three, eight, nine, three, four, five, single honors. What about if, because we have mixed suits, four of each, well, four, four, three. What about if we did try? Let's see. A knitted hand. Number 35 is a knitted straight. One, four, seven. One, four, seven. There's a four. Three, six, nine. Two, five, eight. One four seven three six nine two five eight, and then maybe we could use the honors for lesser honors and knitted tiles. Number thirty four. That's twelve fawn. So as an option, I think what I would do is discard the one bam. Discard the one bam and try for something knitted. One four seven two five eight three six nine two five eight three six nine one four seven honors one two three four discards oh five six eh, that's a lot. Okay, so the other thing I was thinking was all simples. Discard the one nine and the honors. Hold all two through eight. We have a chow isolated three, four, five. Not a lot of repeating patterns there and isolated tiles. Okay, so I think the knitted option was better. Even though there's six discards, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
147-369-258 honors. So this would take some work. Number 34, 12 fun. That looks like a hot mess. Mix, draw, analyze, repeat. That repetition has helped me memorize some of these scoring elements. I have a long way to go, so I'm going to continue to practice. If you have a set at home, I challenge you to do the same. And then maybe we could play together at Mahjong time. Look below the video so that you can join. I do have 30 day VIP codes I could send you so you can try it out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.